Burr, it's freezing outside. <laughs> Ground is wet. It rained a little bit. Wind is from the northeast. Look at this chilly midsummer weather with the wind coming in off the ocean. But I think the water temperature is in the 70s, so how can the air temperature be in the 60s? It's a chilly air mass. Came into Maine two days ago. And now it's covering most of New England, along with this cloud. A lot of low-level moisture. You can see some thin spots up there towards Gloucester, but it's almost chilly outside. Turn the air conditioner off. Open the windows. <laughs> I think we should be able to leave the windows open. The front that went through yesterday with all those thunderstorms is further offshore now than we thought it was going to be. It's way off south of Nantucket, but low-level moisture is left around. Where were you when that front came through? I was right here in the backyard. It was pretty impressive. And wind gusted before the rain even came in. We had a gust to about 35. Temperature was in the mid 90s, and then it rained five minutes. And let's go check the rain gauge. But uh, the the people on Cape Cod got a real treat if they're sky loving, sky watching lovers of weather. Johnny Rockets shared this. One of his neighbor took the picture of the uh, wall cloud coming in off of Cape Cod Bay in Truro, where there was about three quarters of an inch of rain. T-Rex, how much did we get? Zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, point zero, four out of all that. Yay. Not sarcastic. About 73 degrees right now. And we've got the second bloom of the season for roses happening now. This hydrangea is going to be okay. I transplanted it in the middle of the summer. <laughs> so it's almost chilly the next couple of days. That front I talked about to the south is gonna lift back to the north a little bit. So let's check out the map for tomorrow. There's an even colder front or most likely a drier front coming in from the west and north with a couple of showers in Northern New England tomorrow. And then looks like the two fronts are gonna merge right over us later tomorrow into Friday. So all the guidance is backed off on a wet Thursday. Still looks rather, rather gray. And look at the Euro output for Boston. For the next several days what a dramatic change to saturday it's a cloudy wednesday we're supposed to have a sunny saturday low level moisture upper level low a storm way out there it's not really a storm weak low pressure way out there but the gradient is going to be kind of from the northeast and it looks like we may try and have a day just like this on saturday for much of southern new england that was not part of the deal, and maybe that'll go the other way, I hope. But that upper level low has got some pretty cold air aloft, so it's going to be challenging with the moisture down below and not a lot of wind to mix that low-level moisture out. And when it tries to mix out, it'll rise and cause afternoon cumulus clouds. So all of a sudden, the weekend is not looking as good. It's Wednesday, twilight race, sailboat races in Hingham Bay today. It's remarkable. This is about the third week in a row where we're going to have hardly any wind from the southeast, maybe about 10 miles an hour. Between all these heat waves, we've had all these uh, chillier Wednesdays. Not that it was chilly last Wednesday, but it seems like we get a high pressure system over Maine every day. Uh, how to read this thing? You can see the barb, the flag kind of points to where the wind is from. So over Nantucket, that's from the northeast at 10 knots. And right around Boston, that's just a, a flat from the southeast with no barb on it at all. That's five to 10 miles an hour. I think it'll be a little stronger than that. Blue Hill Observatory having an event today at Trillium. You're invited. Of course, a donation is greatly appreciated. Uh, yesterday, I got up to the top of the hill and it was one of the hotter days probably ever on top of Blue Hill ever being my life and our grandparents' life. And it's pretty sad looking at the vegetation. Anyhow, the temperature got to 97. That was a record. The dew point got to 78. Not sure if that was a record. Matt Douglas, Mike Iacono looking into that. But I saw the heat index on the Davis instrument anyway got to 108 yesterday. But they're still working on the, uh, the observatory inside of which is going to be the future Mish Michaels Exhibit Hall for Scientific Discovery. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention the uh, the extremes on Blue Hill. I was wondering if you, we've set about four high temperature records on top of Blue Hill in the last week. 
Uh, but the record yesterday was 100 from 1949. The record for today is 101 degrees from 1949, the hottest temperature ever recorded on top of Blue Hill, along with uh, August 2nd, 1975. So it has been hotter than this before there.